What's up everybody, this is your data-driven daily tip. Let's say you're responsible for updating your company's website content. And let's say that you have a new website, a relatively new website, and you need to go back to your old one to find something. So you need to go back and find something that was on your old website and you have no idea how to do it, but you know that it was there. Let me show you this. It's called the Wayback Machine. So let's say this is your current website. Nice looking WordPress website but you had something on your old home page that's not on your new home page and you want to find it and put it back let's take it back take it way back take it way way back to the wayback machine so not only does the wayback machine have a cool name but it's awesome so you go to archive.org slash web and then you type in your old url or your current URL, of course, and uh, it'll show you all of the different snapshots that it took of your website over the years. So you go back to the year that you knew your content existed and you click on it. So in this case, for the sake of an example, I'm going to randomly select this snapshot on December 17th, 2014. I'm going to click on it and it's going to be what the home page of the website that I just showed you a minute ago looked like on that day. And as you can see, in one very simple step, going to web.archive.org and typing in our URL, we have the old version of the website that I showed you on December 20th. December 20th, 2014 version, you can see all the content. Grab it, and you can go back and put it on your new site if you want. Now this can obviously be useful for a number of reasons. It could be finding a photo, finding some copy that was written. It could even be finding an old URL that if your current web developer maybe missed a 301 redirect, you could correct. This has been your data-driven daily tip. So thankful that you are watching. Have a great day.